What does it mean to you to be a European shooting star? Um, well, it means a lot, uh, especially because I'm really proud of the movie that I was nominated for called The Hypnosis. And I think this award uh, will help the movie to get spread and uh, to be viewed by a bigger audience. Yeah. The film Hypnosen has not been released here in Germany. Can you tell me a bit more about your role and what's the film about? Yeah, I think it will be released in Germany. I don't know when, <laughs> but we premiere in Sweden in three weeks. So and then probably a European uh, uh, premieres. Uh, but yeah, it's a movie about uh, a couple, uh, Vera and Andrea. And Vera, who I play, is, goes through a hypnosis where she uh, loses the, um, uh, she loses the, her inner critical voice of uh, what people will think about her. So when she goes out through the hypnosis, she is completely her authentic self. <laughs> and that uh, it's about the relationship between the two and how he cannot accept that version of her. Uh, what attracted you to this role? Um, I, mean, I mean, it was just so liberating to play a person that was completely free uh, of all the uh, social structures. Uh, that was such a fun thought. I thought, uh, like a fun thought experiment. Uh, and uh, we... I mean, the um, director is amazing. It's his debut film, uh, which is crazy because it's, he's, uh, he's really talented. And also Herbert Nordrum, who I, I play with, is um, also a very, very great actor. So it was, it was no-brainer. What did you do to prepare for this film? Did you went to hypnosis session? <laughs> did you were hypnotized yourself? No, I didn't. I didn't. Maybe I should have. No. But this was very much a role and a project where I was just kind of trying to be as blank as possible. I mean, I read the script like a hundred times, I always do that, but then just try to not have any expectations of what was going to happen, but just to see what, was, what, what, I had, what I felt for doing in the moment, very much. You come from a family of actors, your father's a director, your sister is an actress. Um, how much did your parents influence you both in choosing this profession? You could have done anything else. Why? No. <laughs> no, we cannot do anything else. This is the only thing we can do. <laughs> no, but I feel like that way. It, it was, uh, for me, it was like, when you grow up, you become an actress. That, that's what you do, right? That, that was my, uh, very much my... Uh, way of going into it but th then also I had a period where I really didn't want to do it I, I was very very uh, convinced that I was going to do something else but then I like secretly applied to acting school and then I got in so I um, it kind of was decided for me but of course it has a big influence I don't know if I would ever be an actress if it wasn't was that. there kind of a trigger point where you said to yourself I want to do this because my mom is in a film and I am on the set. No, it was just a constant. Since I was a kid, we were always there. And especially in the theater, in the wardrobe where our mother played uh, in the evenings. So it was just like very natural way. I read in the IMDb that you and your sister were little children and you played extras in a film by your father called yeah. Jerusalem. Yeah. What kind of experience was it? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <a> bad answer. <laughs> yes, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did rem I do remember wearing the clothes. That was very much, but it's a kid's perspective. It was like, oh, I get to wear clothes from another century. That was amazing. That was, it went, and been seeing grown up people doing that. That was absolutely amazing. You not only act in films and series, but also in theater and in musicals. And you get in theater and in musicals an immediate reaction from the yeah. uh, audience. Do you like that? Because in film, maybe you do it 30 times again, mm. the scene, and then you have to wait. Yeah. And maybe the film is bad and that's it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a d completely different experience. I think as a, as in theater you are much more in contact with the audience. You need to listen to the audience much more and, and bring them in the, 
the story or like go through the audience when you tell. It's much more storytelling. Uh, and I, I think in film it's much more just being present. Because when you start to storytell in movies, it just doesn't get good. You start to show what you what you feel. Um, so it's like, yeah, and you have no contact with the audience. The camera is the audience, and it's, yeah. As I remember, you played Ophelia, I think. Yeah. Um, what was that? It's a big role. And yeah, it's complex kind of role. Yeah, yeah, different from a film. Yeah, very much. It was very complex. It was the first job I had after acting school. Um, and it was by a great director and also starring with uh, Elliot Hove, who has also been a shooting star, I think. Elliot yeah. Cross at Hove, yeah. Um, and he's amazing. He played Hamlet and we, we had so much fun doing that. So much fun. Uh, the last series we could see you here in Germany was Blackwater. Yeah. And it aired in Germany, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. and you can see it on in the internet mm -hmm. on the first program. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's kind of strange because you play the mother of your sister, oh, sister yeah. in a way, <laughs> and your mother and your sister play in the present, yeah. but you never do a um, scene together because it's impossible. Um, were you on the set when they were shooting one or day. vice versa? Only one day, because we shot it in blocks. It's a series that takes place in two different timelines, as you said. So we shot the, the whole, the, all that happened in the 70s at first, and then we went on to the 90s. Um, so, uh, but we only, I have one day where we were on set, <laughs> same day, and it was weird. It was like, oh, you, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're the same character. We should not be here together. It's, yeah, yeah. Did you read the book? Yeah. Among a lot of times, yeah. Yeah, and how did you prepare for roles? Do you need to read the book if there is a book, or do you need a script, or the director gives you a kind of CV, hmm. and there it says uh, your character is that and that and that? No, but I think if it is a book, it's really important for me to read it. I think there's a lot of gifts in it, because it's a lot of the inner thoughts of the character being described. Uh, which you, of course, remove in, in a script for, for TV. So uh, in that case, it was very important for me to understand her inner journey and what, what was happening inside of her. What's an exciting role for you? In, in, like a dream or mm -hmm. if I have a... No, because sometimes I think I see actors uh, being bored on, on the screen. And ah, if you read the script, um, do you have a certain preference? Well, that would be my preference, to not to get bored. <laughs> no, I think it's a great uh, point, because I think a lot of... I think people are bored watching it as well. I mean, it's so much being made now that is very predictable, uh, because it's been made in a way where like, you, um, you make it for the audience, so you can watch the timelines when the audience stops watching, and then you know it's going to be like a car crash scene or a sex scene. Cause to, to get so, so it's very, very predictable, the dramaturgy, uh, I think, of a lot of being made, unfortunately. Uh, so I, I absolutely go for projects and roles that is unpredictable and that gives me a shock. In a way. So you don't prefer a certain genre like SF or I didn't see you in a horror film so far? I would do horror. <laughs> If it's good horror, I would definitely do. <laughs> um, which film series did you watch last? Uh, the last film I watched? Wow, I can't even remember. What's the last film I watched? I blanked. I don't know. Which so was the last time I watched? So it was thing boring. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> no, but I watched the series called Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, that was made on Amazon. The movie. That was great. That was really great.